Hello, we are gonna discuss about hotel model today. I am your lecturer, Jimian Yan. And first of all, we're gonna start this lecture by introducing our audience. So the first, uh, the first audience for today is Wilson. Uh, Wilson, please up your hands. Yes, good. Um, Wilson is uh, currently studying University of Sydney. Is majoring in media and digital culture. And he's a second year student. And our second audience is Danny. Raise up your hands, please. Danny has already, already graduated from University of City. He was majoring in finance and mathematics and has taken Fast 1040, which is equivalent to Econs 1001. He has uh, some basic understanding of economics. Okay, uh, this is our topic for today, hoteling model. As you can see, there are two hotels on the street. The um, uh, Andanico Hotel, the uh, offer Andanico Portal service and they sell people at the same price. Hotel owners uh, want to choose hotel site and the street. And the customers are uniformly distributed and we resident in the closed hotel. So to make example, so if this is a customer looking at this position, uh, here we go to hotel A instead of go to hotel B because hotel A is close to him. As we made in the assumption, the customer will go to the closed hotel. So in this model, the two hotels were competing with each other. They will fight against each other and pick up the uh, best suitable uh, locations to draw more customers and hence to get more revenue as they pay off. Let's look at two basic uh, examples so we kind of have a better understanding of the model. Then we will dive into more difficult examples. In this scenario, uh, we have two hotel on the street. Uh, just let you guys know. So zero and one represent the distance of the street. One represent one uh, in total is one kilometer now of the street. So hotel A and hotel B located at exactly the same point of 0 0.3. As we mentioned before, customers are uniformly distributed. Hence, cost hotel A will get 30% uh, of customer and hotel B will get a larger portion of customer, which is 70% of customer are being represented here. And let's look at another scenario. Hotel A and Hotel B are located at the exam spot uh, in, on the street, which is 0 0.6. In this scenario, as we mentioned before, again, the customer are uniformly distributed. So 60% of customer will go to Hotel A, and only 40% of customer we go to hotel B, and so that B is close to these customers. So here comes the questions. The uh, two hotels on the street, which we go back to the scenario one. Um, hotel A and hotel B are located at the exact same point of 0 0.3. What will hotel A do to get more customers? Danny, you want to go for a try? Uh, yeah, thinking a bit. Well, I will move the right of the hotel B as I can get more customers on the right side of the street. Yes, this is correct. This is what we plan to do, okay? As we see, uh, this is the initial scenario. And then if we move the hotel A at the right side of hotel B, then this is the opposite situation of previous. So the hotel A will actually get a larger proportion of customer on the right side of street, and Hotel B has a limited proportion of customer on the left side of street. Hence, we saw one more question. Wilson, what would you, if you are the owner of Hotel B, what would you do to gain more customers to counter Hotel A's action? Well, I think because you said earlier that Hotel B on the left side has less resources, so I'll probably move my hotel to the right of Hotel A. Yes, that's exactly right. So we will probably move uh, Hotel B to the right side of Hotel A. With such a logic, the Hotel B will move to the right side of Hotel A. 
Then hotel A perceives that I move again to the right side of hotel B. They move again and again until they reach an equilibrium point, which is looks like this. So each of them enjoys uh, uh, have uh, five customers. Hotel A gets five customers from the left side of the street, and Hotel B get five customers at the right side of the street. And this is a uh, national equilibrium point. At this point, the national equilibrium from Great John Nash, uh, the equilibrium is reached at point 0 0.5, where neither hotel can improve the payoff by deviating from current strategy. Let me expand this. Is so in this scenario, hotel hotel B located at the same spot. Neither of them can um, make a move to uh, to locate it at different position in order to gain more payoffs. The maximum payoff they will get for each of them is fifty percent. So Wait, they hold up. I, I got a question. What if yeah. if hotel A moves to the right of hotel B again? Okay, that's uh that's interesting. Say say uh your question about the robustness of our assumption. Okay. Uh so if we move hotel A to the right side of hotel B, let's just assume this hotel A moved to this position. Okay, so hotel B still gets all the customer from left side, which is already made and established 50% of customers. And hotel A only has a limited amount of customer on the right side, but also, Hotel A and Hotel B will share the in-between region of customers. And hence, Hotel B has strictly profitable payoff than Hotel A. Hence, this is not a match current if Hotel A moved to the right side of Hotel B. Does that kind of answer your question? Yeah, thanks. Okay, good. Okay, let's look at um, a more difficult examples. Uh, so as you can see, there are two hotels located uh, at the, a different spot of a uh, street. Hotel A is at, at uh, 0.25 and Hotel B is located at 0 0.75. So Danny, you want to go for a try? Is this a national career? Well, I think it is, yes. Uh, can you offer a reason? Uh, because Paul, both of these get 50% customer from the street, so it's a net equilibrium. Well, uh, this is reasonable from what you said. Like, so from Hotel A's perspective, it gets a 25% customer here, a share uh, between region of Hotel A and Hotel B, and it gets 25% customer, and Hotel B get 25% customer as well. And at the right side of Hotel B, it gets 25% customer as well. So each of them, we get 50% customers. Is there? Uh, however, this is not actually robust to correct. As you can see, if Hotel uh, A moved to the uh, center point of the street, so in this scenario, Hotel A will get all the customer from the left and he will share the between region between A and B. He will get more customer and share this evening with Hotel B in this shared region. So Hotel A is strictly profitable and Hotel B. So Hotel A or Hotel B, they all have incentive to move to the middle to gain more customers. If Hotel A becomes more aggressive, so Hotel A can even move more aggressively to the exact same point of Hotel B and located at, at right side, a left side of Hotel B. Then Hotel A has 75% of customers and Hotel B only has 25% of customers. Hence, this is not a, a hotel new model. Um, now, is there, is there another natural equilibrium? Well, this is actually a very good question. This is what I'm exactly gonna talk about. Um, so uh, we, the reason we offer this um, picture is we want to demonstrate that there's only one unique Nash equilibrium. As we can see, the only Nash equilibrium occurs as two hotel, both of them located at the center point of the street. So 
you want you want to make a move, you can. So if you move hotel A, uh, uh, left a bit of the street. So as you can see, the hotel B still receives the fifty percent of customers, and he will share with custom with hotel A in the between region customers. So hotel B is still profitable at hotel A. Then if you move hotel A to the right side of hotel B. Now hotel B is still profitable at hotel A as he enjoyed all the customer from the left side of the street and also shared the in-between region with, cost, with hotel A. So in either scenario, hotel B is profitable than hotel A. So there is no other Nash equivalence. The only Nash equivalent occurs at the single point of the street. Okay. So as we've been said, and this hoteling model actually has a strong uh, presence on our real life. As you can see, uh, the McDonald's and KFC, they both located at the same point of the street, which awfully similar looks like the one that we offered here. All right? So if they located at the, the center of the street, both restaurants will receive an equal 50% of customers and reach a national program if that has been done ideally, okay? Okay, let's come to our three hotel model. So in this scenario, we get hotel A, hotel B, and hotel C. We have three models. We have three hotels, sorry. Uh, so is there a national program? Uh, Wilson, you want to go for a try? Well, um, I would say probably one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right of the street, maybe. Okay, let's make an, an attempt. Okay, so as you said, one at the left, one at the right, and one at the middle. Mm. Okay. So Hotel A will get 25% uh, customers, higher Hotel B. He received 20% customer here and another 25% customer here. At Hotel C, again, we only receive 25% of customer. Hence, Hotel B is strictly profitable than Hotel A and Hotel, B, Hotel C. So this is not a Nash equilibrium. Danny, what do you think? Well, how about they all locate at the same center of the street? Each of okay. them share one third customers. Hmm, let's see. As you said, so each of them will share one set of customers. Yeah. So, looks like this. Okay. So, if we place all of them on the center point of the street, however, let's make an example of Hotel A. Hotel, the manager of Hotel A says that, okay, he thinks, okay, so right now we are all located in the center point of the street. How about I move? left a little bit. Then what happens is Hotel A gets all the customers from left side of the street. And Hotel B and C will share a right side of the street of customer with Hotel A. Then, then Hotel A is still strictly profitable than Hotel B and C. So this is not a Nash equivalent as well. And actually, in reality is in this uh, street hotel model, there is actually no Nash equivalent, unfortunately. So they, uh, so no matter what you attempt, you won't find a Nash equivalent. Okay. okay. Let's take a, a last example of how Pepsi versus Coca-Cola in the sweetness bar. As initially we can see, uh, uh, a bar from zero to one. This is no longer the distance bar, okay? Uh, right now, this is a sweetness level bar. From zero, zero represents not sweet at all. The one represents very sweet. And 0 0.5 in the middle represents the medium sweet. As Coca-Cola already made his establishment at 0 0.25, which he, he offers this taste to uh, no sweet customers. And Coca-Cola sees this and he said, uh, if you are the manager of, uh, of Pepsi, what would you do? Uh, you kind of alter the sweetness to gain 
more customers. Danny, you want to go for a try? Uh, well, can we try the middle point, 0 0.5, is that right? Okay, let's see. So if we look at the Pepsi at 0 0.5, the middle point, what will happen is, yes, Pepsi will be more profitable than Coca-Cola as Pepsi has 50% of customer at the right and also share the in-between region of no street and medium street preference customers. However, this is not the most profitable scenario for Pepsi. So, Wilson, what do you think? Well, I think if you want to achieve max um, profit, I think you have to place it uh, right of the Coca-Cola. Okay, so uh, if I move to the right side of Coca-Cola, right. This actually is the correct answer. Let's see. So if we make a change, um, as been demonstrated, Pepsi moved to the exact right side of uh, Coca-Cola. Then in this scenario, Pepsi enjoys an entire right side of customer, which is approximately 75% of customers, which is, yes, it is the most profitable scenario. And you made it correct. <laughs> okay, uh, now we have reached the end of this uh, lecture. So we just make a really quick recap. So we have talked about two headhouse, and in the conclusion, there is a unique mesh equilibrium. And in three hotel scenarios, unfortunately, there is no mesh equilibrium. And finally, we look at uh, Coca-Cola versus Pepsi examples and find the crack sweetness for Pepsi in order to get more customers. Thank you. Is there any questions? No question. No. no. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.